Tina here again and in this video I am going to show you how to use MeetCheap. Now MeetCheap is an incredibly brilliant webinar system which is run by a company called GVO which stands for Global Virtual Opportunities and the GVO conference room is very popular in fact uh, it is the um, webinar room which is used by the Evergreen Business Systems uh, live webinar system. Uh, so there's obviously a collaboration there between uh, GVO and Mike Philsame who is the guy who set up the Evergreen Business Systems live um, webinars. Now the great thing about MeetCheap is that it is simple to use. Uh, there are limitations, you know, it's Crikey, it's 10 bucks a month, so um, you know for that there are going to be some limitations. But it's brilliant, and I use it all the time. I use it regularly for my member-only webinars. So I thought I'd give you a tour of what Meet Cheap is all about. Now, when you um, you know uh, buy Meet Cheap and then you log in, you get here to to your overview room. Uh, if you don't, um, it might well be that you, uh, just to check on this, you might get taken to the home page or something of that nature. And quite simply, you just click on, uh, scroll on to the left uh, navigation panel and scroll down to where you've got GVO Conference. I mean, the great thing is as well, once you you know sign up for this, you automatically get um, affiliate IDs. So, for example, you know, if I pass on the Meet Cheap, um, then I've got uh, an affiliate link here automatically for it. But I also get affiliate for other things as well, which is really cool. Anyway, that aside, you just click on GVO Conference, and that takes you into your Meet Cheap dashboard. Alrighty, now the first um, couple of things that you're going to need to uh, know and do is you need to set yourself up as a room moderator so click on the room moderator tab uh, there is a video I do recommend that you watch all the videos I'm not going to go through this because there is a video showing you exactly how to do this and uh, again I'll just show you where they are in the left hand side here you've got the GVO conference uh, basic training videos okay and again you got all of it orientation, how to create yourself as a moderator and so on and so on and so on and they are fantastic but I just thought I would give you a bit like the orientation really a bit my, my own tour of it and um, I'm going to be showing you some of the things that I didn't find within the videos um, so uh, I'm going to be using some extra tips that are not actually in the videos okay so let's go back to the uh, dashboard so when, uh, the first thing that you need to do is is to know that there's a difference when you log in once you've set yourself up as a moderator and you log in it automatically logs you in as moderator okay so let's just give it a tick there it does take a little while to fire up Okay, so you, you can see all the details are greyed out there. It's automatically transferred over, and then it's just automatically signed me into my room as the moderator. So I can change all the settings, I can lock the room, I can upload presentations, and all of that kind of thing. Coming back to the dashboard, the link that you give out to other people um, is in your overview. Now, what you want to do is make sure that you're copying the right link because they look the same. Here, as you can see, it says loginmeetcheap.com conference, and then there's my number. Uh, if I come over to here on the overview, okay, I've got what looks like exactly the same link here. However, when I give this link out to somebody else, um, they don't log in as me and as moderator they just get logged into my room okay so be sure that the one that you're going to copy and send out to everybody else is just my default room and you take this is where you take the link from to send to other people just a, a little note there um okay you've got room settings which you can go into here um, again, you can kind of, if I wanted to, I guess I could put myself as web, Webinar Diva in there. I could put Google Analyt Analytics in there. Uh, I haven't done all that yet, to be honest. I'm, um, if I'm totally honest with you, I'm too lazy and uh, 
the techie stuff like Google Analytics I, it's something I really need to get my head around um, you know you, you can disable certain members um, so here I've got to disable the active members list in the room and the flags um, I can actually take those off because it's quite nice to see the um, uh, members list in the room um, in fact I think I've done that manually anyway through because there's another way that you can get into the settings okay which I'll show you in a minute you can ban people <laughs> I've never had to do anybody I've never had to do that yet I've never had to ban anybody but I guess if you get somebody who's um, you know totally disruptive and I don't know why you would get anybody like that but I guess the facility is there just in case it happens and the nice thing is every time you um, click on record so um, to, re to record it all I need to do is click on record and the uh, webinar that I'm running automatically records and then you find it here in your records or records and I thought what records but it's <laughs> I think it's the um, uh, language thing I think this was put together by the lovely Hector who is Spanish so it's um, uh, probably should say recordings but uh, there you go it's records and these are my members only webinars see I can prove that I am using it this was my web members only webinar uh, that I did last week so this was just on the 28th of uh, November the week before that the 21st um, I did what did I do here? I did something different here um, on the 18th and then I did another members only webinar there on the 14th and so on so on okay so uh, I can you know, show you there that I am actually um, using it myself I'm not just telling you guys to use it I am actually using it myself uh, alright so um, that's basically the uh, dashboard now when you um, come to start using it yourself oops wrong one you just upload your presentation so you can go into presentation mode and you basically uh, find a presentation so you browse on it uh, I haven't got one that I need to load up um, but anyway all of this is in, in the tutorials but you would uh, browse find it click upload and then it, it comes up now I've made a mistake in the beginning I was just using um, ordinary PowerPoint from 2010 which comes up as a pptx file uh, and then I noticed that my slides are distorting so somebody gave me the tip to um, uh, use just older PowerPoint slides which actually save in a PPT version not pptx uh, if you're using uh, PowerPoint 2010 that's no problem when you just do the save as you you just change it to um, uh, saving it as the older version of PowerPoint it gives you that option and that gets rid of quite a few of the problems um, so when, when you've got your uh, stuff loaded up you quite simply um, click on play so I'm gonna pick this one become an expert this was my last uh, members only webinar for the five-star speaker system so uh, it loads up into there and what's handy is it gives you a little bit of what's coming next so I always used to have to print my slides out and if I'm not using Meet Cheap, I still do that so I know what's coming next but with this it's great you don't have to and the people who are watching don't see this and it doesn't come up on the recording either so you know only you see this so for example I'm on slide you know one at the moment um, and I, ca I can see what's coming next uh, so if I click on next file, uh, you know, if, if I click on this, it plays and it plays automatically. So big tip, you don't want to do that because you don't want slides to move on until you're ready. So you just use this one to advance it one slide. Okay, and now you can see that this is the slide that I'm on and that's here and you can see that the next one, oops, you know, when I, see th this is cool because if I want to, go ahead or come back you can do that really quickly without having to go back manually throughout each slide so it but I can see what's coming up next which is great and then you just basically you just click through now a little tip also um, and I'll probably do this I think I might have this a bit later on if you want to animate a slide so you know when you got these things that come up separately uh, you have to actually make a different slide for each of them because you can't animate within um, uh, Meet Cheap. So quite simply, you just um, do separate slides. Let me see if I've got um, 
here we go here's here's an animation that I've created in the model okay so basically what I've done here let me just move get rid of the drawing because you can draw on them which is brilliant so I can kind of get a pencil and I can draw on the slides if I want to it's quite cool but I'm just going to get rid of that and so you can see that I've got my model message is the first thing and then open out is next oh this is in the way now the control panel is hiding that underneath here I've got um, the next one which is uh, draft uh, you can just about see it on the little thing here look you've got draft if that keeps still no it won't but you've got draft down there and then when I click on now obviously the people watching this will see it because the control panel doesn't hide the, the, the screen I've got established that you can just about see coming through the control panel next there and then I've got uh, the next one comes up which is launch okay so but what I've done there instead of animating it all on the same slide as you would with a normal PowerPoint presentation I just do separate slides for each yeah so they're all separate slides with the next bit on it okay and that doesn't take that much extra work you just um, do the what I normally do is I I put up the slide with them all on and then I just copy and paste the slides and then I just delete them as I go through so it, it it's probably about a minute's extra work just to animate slides um, so this is where slide presentation happens now this is where the people come up with the flags and you can either have that seen or not seen by other people uh, depends how many people you're expecting on a webinar if you think you're only going to get about five on you disable that so other people can't see it if you think it's good social proof to be seen to be having people from different countries all around the world uh, then don't disable it so other people can see how international you are simple as that um, okay cool so when you click on the talk now um, I've now I've got this muted already because otherwise it's going to interfere with me talking over this um, okay so when you click on talk now I'm not going to do this because it might interfere with my recording of this but what happens is the webcam will pick you up uh, it will probably give you a little warning window saying asking your permission to accept through Adobe um, and basically your webcam comes up in the corner here and then you've got the chat box that comes up directly beneath it which is rather cool and again you've got all of these little um, uh, windows here click here to make the chat visible for all guests so if I chat in there I can put hello welcome okay and basically people can see that when they log in and the chat just fills up this little part here and that's pretty much it for me cheap uh, you can use desktop sharing so uh, another way of doing it you know you could go onto desktop sharing and do your PowerPoint from there um, I don't think that looks as nice uh, I have tried it that way but it's not as nice as when you actually get it right and you actually load it up into the window uh, you can um, uh, click on the video and do video streaming or you can not bother with a presentation and you can just simply have chat you know that's a bit boring I kind of prefer to have a presentation uh, you can use polls there's all sorts of things and what's nice is you lock your room just before um, so there's a little feature up here so you can just um, you know lock your room so prior to my last uh, webinar I had the uh, room locked um, I didn't change the message actually that was from the week before but <laughs> next webinar when it you know when it is and you can lock it so that it you know that if people come on early they don't get in and see you uploading your presentation and all that kind of stuff um, you be wary though people can hear you so you always want to make sure you're muted until you're ready to go live you know so even though the room is locked um, I discovered that people can still hear you they can't see you because it all comes up fuzzy but beware because 
you, you want to really make sure that you're muted until you're ready to speak live. That said, remember to unmute yourself at the you know when you're ready to talk. So that's pretty much me cheap. Um, I as I said, I love it. I will do uh, more in-depth tutorials. I'll go back and remind myself what's perhaps not covered in the original tutorials. I can't see the point of um, uh, repeating what's already there because their their tutorials are fantastic. Uh, so there you go. That is an introduction to Meat Cheap. I hope you enjoyed it and I would certainly w recommend that it's worth a free trial and I'll put my link <laughs> underneath so that if you want to have a free trial and have a go and then you decide to buy, you can buy it through me. That will be uh, very much appreciated. So I'll see you in one of the next tutorials. <laughs>